I'm proud to be a veteran. I'm proud to be an American. I have an incredibly strong emotional attachment with this country. And if we don't hold our leaders accountable to support our Constitution and way of life, then eventually it'll decay away. I served as a lieutenant and a lieutenant commander during the Cold War. I served on a missile submarine which had more firepower than was used by all sides during World War II, including the atomic bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. We gathered intelligence about the Soviets, and that's why it was called the Cold War, not a hot fighting war. There's a Cold War going on right now, and just as in the Soviet Union Cold War, information and, and phony information can be a weapon. The new Cold War is about uh, hacking, it's about cyber terrorism. The Democratic National Committee revealed the hacking of thousands of star females. 21 states were potentially targeted by Russian government cyber actors. Twitter accounts created as part of the Russian propaganda campaign to meddle in the U.S. presidential race. Facebook revealing that 80,000 posts from Russian-backed Facebook accounts reached potentially a third of all Americans. The list of states that these Russian tied ads targeted includes not just Michigan and Wisconsin, but also Maryland, New York, California, Texas, Ohio, and Missouri. There's just a great deal of evidence that the Russians are gathering intelligence and why wouldn't you want to counter those actions? Donald Trump thinks that by being Putin's friend, it gives an opportunity for us to solve our mutual problems together. When in fact, it looks like Putin is just playing the president and as a veteran, not seeing President Trump openly challenge Vladimir Putin really undermines my service. We don't know how this information is going to be used against their way of life, but the effects of cyber warfare have yet to be seen. It's up to the citizens of this country to hold President Trump accountable for his actions.